Hey, you all, buckle up for this premiere season of Misty and Christy. Thank you ladies for coming in. Obviously, I'm probably gonna struggle a little bit at first trying to remember who's who. So if you wouldn't mind introducing yourself, that'd really help me out. I'm Misty. And I'm Christy. So I am curious, whose idea was it for you two to come to this counseling session? My daddy well, made us no. come because well, he knows that yeah, she Yeah, because she's me mean crazy. to me, so daddy told I'm us to come. I'm not mean to you, but daddy told yes, us to come. Yes, you are. She's hateful to me. No, I'm not. Yeah, I'm you hateful. are, too. No, anybody I wouldn't come if she wasn't hateful. Me I thought see. if you because can you help her quit being listen. hateful to me, whatever. You don't listen. I do, don't too. Don't point your finger at me. Will you point it at me? Don't you point your finger at me. Don't you point your finger at me. You got... That's my bracelet. Let me just interrupt for a second and stop the both of you right here. I like to call the Popo because she just assaulted me. I like to call the Popo because you've got my bracelet on that I've been looking for for six months. Well, I'd like to call the Popo because she's ugly to me. You look just like me. Christy, according to the questionnaire you filled out, Misty Logic creates a lot of problems. Misty Logic is where it's not acceptable in society, but in her little brain, she thinks it is. No, it benefits a lot of people. For instance, let me tell you a story. I got the kids into Dollywood really fast one day. I went the wrong way. Cause I, you didn't go the wrong I, way. Well, okay, I went to where- She went across the, the barrier. No, I went to where the staff parks. So I feel really bad about it. And Dolly Parton is my hero. So, of course, she's my hero. But anyway, I'm not a skinny, but one day I will be. Dolly, I owe you money. I will come and pay you $8. It's ten dollars. Ten dollars. I will pay you, you ten dollars. You interest. I if I had the money, I'd pay you interest too, Dolly. Obviously, Misty Logic creates some problems for your sister. Is there anything that Christy does that just drives you crazy? Oh, no. oh my gosh, driving. Okay, she's blind in one eye, you know, from a blood clot. And so she, her depth perception is off. She'll slam her brakes well, on. Well, no, what I do is I lay my seat back so I can oh, yeah. see the front of the, the truck. Honest to God. But oh, it totally makes sense. Everywhere. If I could see the front of the truck, then I can't drive. I haul you everywhere. You don't haul me everywhere. But anyway, Whatever. I drive better with one eye than she ever thought about driving Oh my one gosh, two. let me tell you, speaking of which, she'll be driving down the road and she'll see a deer up on the hill. And nobody and else I'm like, see. Yeah, and I'm like, okay, if you've got one eye and you see that deer up on the hill. That is true. Yeah. But I can spot them good. Christy, you said you would like to just turn back the clock and spend quality time with your sister like the good old days. Describe that to me. Yes, um, the good old days. I miss going fishing to the stream, catching a big fish, and them how big? I, I caught a carp. Remember that big carp I caught? Oh my gosh, it was not that big. Now see, you're already arguing with me because you, you exaggerate. Always have it's to my argue. Misty, I exaggerate. held it up and it dragged Because it was this big. You're four foot nothing. Well, I mean, it's still yet though, it was this big okay. to me. Anyway, I used to miss going, but now I'm, a double, uh, now I'm thinking about it again. Misty, after 15 years as a registered nurse, what in the heck made you decide to get in the logging business with your sister and your brother-in-law, Shannon? Well, one day after my dad had his heart attack and I had to take care of him, Christy knew what stress I was under, so they invited me to come on the logging job with them. So the day that I was there, Shannon was loading a truck that she thought she was going to drive, and he plainly told her, don't change gears. And what does she do? Yeah, I had to put a coat behind me. But then the spring sticks out, so I get a hole in my blue jeans. Shannon, come here. This is different. Christy, it's the same as the other trucks you drive. No, it's not. Look. It's got five speeds instead of 18. 
so it's just like a regular Just like vehicle. a regular truck, you have no problem. Well, I wasn't used to that kind of truck. That's the first time I'd ever drove. It was a GI truck. Okay. It wasn't like one Don't of my regular log trucks. change gears. I needed to change gears. Santa! Chrissy, back it in to me. I can't hear you. Back the truck up. Why do you want me to back it up? You told me to pull it up just now. Christy, hurry and get that truck pulled in. We've got to go. This truck's got to be loaded. Sorry. Do you need her to do that again? Christy, you got to use the clutch. You better be glad that your husband can run fast. Because if he hadn't, I don't know what you'd have done. You were going down that hill. You were done gone. What are you doing? I can't what get What are you it doing with it out of gear? I can't get it in gear. What was you doing changing gears? Well, I just wanted to you change You know gears. better. I'm out of there. Get out of I that truck. I forgot that I was loaded at 10. Get out. You're going to let me drive. I didn't know what was going on. The next thing I knew, she was walking down the hill, pouting, swapping old gnats because they like poo-poo. Yeah, it was funny. I was like, my chance. You are so mature. Well, what do gnats like to stay on? Rotten food and poo-poo. Her breast smell like poo-poo. Don't go too far, because there's still plenty to come on Misty and Christy. I want to coach a softball team this year. You do? Yeah. Oh, that was so good. <laughs> Let me do it. I see the two of you grew up in a small town. How small? There's 1,500 in Holnacre Fif and less than that in Sorge Creek. 15? Yeah, 15, where we actually went to elementary uh, school. There's more Creek. like 800 people. There's not, and you can run into the mayor anytime, anywhere. He also runs a hardware store, so you can see him there too. My name is C.H. Wallace. I'm the mayor of Hunacre, Virginia. I've lived in Hunacre all my life. I've been mayor for 19 years. To me, the thing that's special about Hunacre is the, the friendship and the friends and neighbors that you have. When you live in a small community, everyone knows everybody. If I go to the post office, which is about 200 yards away from my store, it could take me 30 minutes to do that because there's folks I'll stop and talk to. Do you ever wonder how something like this ever happened to us? You know why, don't you? Because we're good to people. Or I'm good to people. I don't know about you. I'm good to people. You know, the perks of living in a small town is we had a good childhood. Oh, yeah. And the community's pulled together. Life on the ball field with Daddy. We were definitely Daddy's girls. I always try to make sure that I pull my even load. We had some pretty exciting days just meeting the two girls by themselves. And then Mommy had home-cooked meal every evening. The ups and downs of raising twins, it's been difficult at times. Uh, interesting, there's never a dull moment in our life. They're always coming up with ways to fool you, trick you, and they're, it's, it's happy. And they've always made me happy and so proud of them. I'm so proud to be their mother. Oh my God, don't act There's like something after me. Did, you, did I get it? I don't know. Oh, okay. On. You got something right there. Because a bug attacked me. Quit. I want to coach a softball team this year. You do? Yeah. Oh, that was so good. <laughs> <laughs> that hurt. <laughs> <What's> that? <laughs> That's like really thick. No, that's bigger than what I thought. Christy, you answered one of the questions of what do you wish you could do in your life? And you said you wanted to be a reporter. Well, of course, you know, we have our own show now. So I think it's a great opportunity for me to do something I've always wanted to do. I want to, I get that microphone. I can oh, report on wait. sports, I started news, out with the microphone. weather. I was the weather girl. I did the Misty, news. Honey, I was sick one day. Misty, and she listen, decides to take listen, over. Listen, just listen. I'm talking. Please, see, that's the problem. I don't care whether it's weather, news, sports, which I think I'm great at all those. And so anything. now I can't even hold my microphone without you trying to get it's it out. It's not of my your hands. microphone, sister. It's mine. It is too mine. I want to get the story. Yeah, see, no. We are here in Honecker, Virginia, where it is snowing. Everybody, get your bread, get your milk, because it's obviously snowing. So if you want. To be able to get bread and milk, you need to go now before the shelves get empty. I don't have to get around. 
home. All right, here in Honecker, Virginia, it is snowing, and we are expecting one to three inches by 2 a.m. So it's very important that you watch the roads and only be out if you have to be out. Let me do it. Stop it. I need to tell people about black ice. Oh, yeah, and watch out for black ice. I'm cold. Normally, I'd have a jacket on, but I can't find it for all the dog hair in my car. So anyway, just people it's be careful about there. you. But anyway, Tomorrow. seriously, any elderly people, make sure that they have a second source of heat in case your electricity goes if out. If not, you can call me and I'll come get you so you'll be warm. We don't want nobody to get cold. Listen, animals, people, please bring your animals in. Don't leave them tied up outside with no shelter or warmth because it is cold and they get cold too. But Pets and you can go to our local store, Wallace's Hardware, and get bulbs to put in their dog houses. Yeah, and, and remember, make sure you have gas in your car, too. You don't want to run out. Keep a flashlight. No, just don't worry about gas in your car because you don't need to be on the highway. No, you don't, but if your electricity goes out, they could go get warm. Yeah, that's true. That yeah, so true. see. Yeah, so make sure you have gas in your car. Yeah, Misty's a smarter twin, obviously. I think of things like that. Snow is nothing to kid about. Joke about. Nothing to joke about. What about the goats up on the hill? I think they're used to it. They are. We'll go get some blankets for them. Okay. America, we are going to get blankets for the goats. Yep. See, that's what I'm talking about. I'm trying to be all serious, all concerned, because our weather was getting really, really bad out. So here I am telling the weather report, giving the news report, and next thing I know, you're talking about the goats. Yeah. You know what? I may have been talking about the goats. I was concerned about the goats. They needed blankets. It was cold. And guess what? Guess who I interviewed? I interviewed the mayor. No. Honey, I was following my microphone. Oh, yeah, right. And then you tagged along, so I got the story. Yes, let me ask you a question. I worry about the goats. You're talking about the goats, you know, uh, the jingles that's on the hill yes. that's been in town a few yes. times. That's the one she's talking about. Yeah, okay, you don't need to talk about would it be okay if we like did took up donations, like put a jar up there? Because I want to put a blanket on the goats. Do you do you think it'd be all right? Okay. Probably okay. Wait, well, I'm really worried about the goats. I, we have a front moving in. I think you might need some blankets, maybe. I can buy them a sweater. You can buy them a wool sweater. Okay, because I'm really concerned about them because it's getting really cold here. I worry about them being in the road too, uh, as you've probably seen. Our goats do stay in the road a lot. I call them our goats because I feel like they're everybody's goats. They know if they come down that they're going to get fed, especially by me. Don't go too far because there's still plenty to come on Misty and Christy. You have had Facebook set up for the first time. Have you been on Facebook a lot? No, I haven't learned how to work it yet, but uh, I'm going down to the library. To, they're going to teach me. So it's fair to say that the two of you really do care about the people in your little town. Yeah, we do. We were walking the railroad tracks because we like to take our walks so we can bond. And we hear this guy talking on the telephone. Like full of conversation. Yeah, about not being able to get on Facebook. He had never been on Facebook and really didn't even know what it was. Yeah, Rob, what are you into, man? I'm trying to get a hold of Billy. Uh, Dish hooked my computer wires up last week. It's been over a week and I bought this computer from him and I need him to come over and help me set it up on Facebook and all that. I don't know how to do all that. I'm new at this computer stuff. And I want him to come over and, and uh, help me get a Facebook account and all that. I've been calling and calling and can't get in touch with him. Well, I don't think he works on Saturday, does he? He might be working. Maybe he'll come over tomorrow. I don't know. I, I've been calling and calling and there ain't no answer. All right, well, I'll talk to you later then. All right, bye. So Christy said, we'll go back on a rainy day because we can't work on a logging job when it's raining outside. So we go back and we had no idea that it was going to sleet. I mean, it was pouring. It was pouring the rain and sleet at the same time. It was terrible. Yeah, but we still made it because we wanted to check on Dale. And, and something I'll never forget is when he introduced himself to us. He said his name was Dale, like Dale Earnhardt. And Dale Earnhardt is my all-time favorite driver. We're here in Homemaker, Virginia with Dale, like Dale Earnhardt, and it's Slayton, so watch out for black ice. You have had Facebook set up for the first time. Have you been on Facebook a lot? 
No, I haven't learned how to work it yet, but uh, I'm going down to the library. To, they're going to teach me. Well, we'll teach you how to use Facebook, too. So, Del, you, you served our country. What branch of military was you in? I was in the United States Navy. Navy. Well, thank you for your service. We appreciate it. Also, Dale, I understand that you rescue animals. Well, I got one here that I got. She was uh, poor. They wasn't feeding her or anything, so uh, I give them $75 for her. And that dog loves me to death. She that was... tells us a lot about what kind of person you are. Dale, we're glad you served us. And uh, what do you think about us having a TV show that's about two twins from Honeacre? I think it's wonderful. I seen you uh, last Saturday when you was on the tracks. I was interested in what was going on in the neighborhood, you know, and uh, y'all put me on camera. I've never been on camera before. Well, Dale, we've got to get going. It's sleeting awful bad here, so. Okay. Well, thank you so much. Well, thank you, Dale. And thank you for serving our country and for rescuing, too. That's awesome. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's one time that we agree a hundred percent yeah that's one thing we don't fight about is like well for instance we were walking down the railroad tracks and we hear a woman singing gospel music she so was good yeah, yeah she was good so we walked up on the porch and she was rocking a baby and it was a baby doll and so, so it kind of makes you wonder what she's been through in her life yeah that made her you know have a baby doll whether she's lost a child or having some dementia and so and if that's what makes her happy life is short so whatever made her happy yep and it made us happy listening to her because it's hard to hear good old gospel music anymore it would do when i've done it would do when i've done do when i've done it's good enough for me tis the old time religion tis the old time religion it's the old time of it did this enough for me. It would take us all to heaven. It would take us all to heaven. It would take us all to heaven. It's good enough for me. I talked to Shannon last night and he's not he's gonna stop giving you such a hard time. Are you serious? The only thing that he asked, he's like, just make sure she doesn't cook any baked goods to take to the class or anything. And I said, well, I think that's pretty much covered. Like the Rice Krispie bars I made for the baseball team and they used them for batting practice. <laughs> yeah. I don't know why they got so hard for. I really don't, but when I, but I just dumped them out and I just beat them up. So they were Rice Krispie chunks. And I put them in little Ziploc bags. I like to paint. <laughs> Everything but Have that. you seen my front door? Unfortunately, yes. Did I not do a good job painting no, it? No, no. And another thing, stop bringing your dog to the to my house. <laughs> oh my God, are you kidding me? Yeah. Why is everybody always dissing on Axel for? Honey, he peed on my wall. And Dexter don't pee everywhere? Dexter's your dog too. Oh yeah. Well, let's go up here and sit down, I'm tired. Your goats are out, by the way. What? Her goats. <laughs> That's bad. <laughs> <laughs> we better go get them. <laughs> oh, look at the doggy over there. What's your doggy's name? Princess? Oh, she's cute. Oh, oh my God. Yeah. Hey, birdie. Hey, puppy. Is she... that the only one you have? Yeah. Is it? Yeah. So you were born here. Yeah. Deal to come on Misty and Christy. God. <laughs> Misty? Now I've had it with you now. That's it. Go. Whose house did you just knock on? I have no <laughs> idea, but it ain't Princess. I was just kidding with you. The two of you getting this television show, is this all about you having an opportunity to live the dream of giving back? Yes, I think God puts you in a place for a purpose. Yep, everything happens for a reason. And we're at the surplus store. We're here at the hardware store with Mr. Harvey Jen. Okay, we're here at Modern Chevrolet and Homemaker. Get ready to eat the best food. Best let, me, let me talk, because she's lost her voice. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> you all have the best coleslaw. Yeah, <laughs> okay. uh, I've got a three.
It's snowing here and it's coming across. Miss, you'll quit being whiny long enough. Do you know who owns the goats? You don't have to name it. But... Yes, I do know who owns the goats. I used to own the goats. <laughs> David, what do you think? I asked why I'm whiny because Christy threw butter. And... I've got to talk about my truck. Stop it. Do I have to post a break you two? No. Brad's going to give you a call for And you also have deep fried Oreos, honey buns. Get us for this, ain't she? Yeah, you got it. Does Christy know the secret to what makes your pizza good? No. no. You don't tell her either? No. Okay, David, does it make you nervous being on camera? No. No? Because you're a natural. You do really good. I feel like I'm always on the camera. <laughs> I'm worried about the goats. I'm worried. I think they're going to get hit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm worried they're going to get hit. Will you stop it? I'm going to smack oh, you. What's my name? Yeah. Am I a pussy cat? I've never even swung a golf club. I got kicked off the last golf course I was on. Christy has a question for you. My cup. <laughs> Or am I gonna stop it? I'm gonna smack you. Okay. You gotta get out of this rain. Okay, let me ask you a question. Who does your hair? Peanut. There's no place like home, is there? No place like home. Home Acre is a great place to be. You got the home. Yeah, See, I would that's totally always been my heart. Across the table. We have spent way too many days together, is all I got to say. We just need to have it out. Yes, we have. I'm about ready to take this microphone and beat your red lips with it. Yeah, it's a real small town. Yeah, everybody knows everybody. Everybody's yep. got each other's back. Yeah. It's pretty cool. I love living in a small town. One big family. Girls, I'm just concerned that working together is affecting your relationship. And I really think that you need to work harder on it. And Christy, maybe you need to give her a little slack about her dog. Oh, working with her every day, seeing her every day, which I love her. We're like the best of friends, but everybody gets old. I can't help it. When you, I mean, just some of the stuff you do just drives me crazy. And now you've got Axel in. Well, Axel's a part and of me now. And he wrecks havoc. Air. I mean, I well, love him. We need to get back to her walks and no cell phones. That drives me nuts. No cell phone, Roy. I don't. I you don't, can't abide about that. I don't bring my cell phone. Oh, cool. Okay, you don't have to go with me. Just stay here. Go make your phone calls. Okay. Don't lose the dog. Oh, I have a great Dane. Okay, is this little dog really going to pull me? So want to go play? Is my phone ringing? Hello. Yeah. I was just sitting here playing with the dog. Okay, I'll send somebody. Yep, I'll send somebody. Princess! Princess! Oh my Stop God. it! Christy, you gotta help me find somebody's dog. Come on. You are not right. That's ridiculous. Princess! Listen, if she, if she, what if she did go home, scratched on the door? How are you gonna explain that you're I not with know. her? But listen, Zoe looks a lot like it, so let's let's just pass her off for now. You ain't giving my dog to, away. Zoe looks nothing like that dog. Christy, please. Oh, gosh. If she is, how am I going to explain where you are? I'll just tell them that you fell over a hill or something. Okay. <laughs> Misty. Now I've had it with you now. That's it. Go. Whose house did you just knock on? I have no idea, but it ain't Princess. I was just kidding with you. Right there's where Princess really lives. Go, I'm gonna hide. Well, then I'll tell him to call 911 to look for you. Yeah. Go ask him. I'm going. Hey, you ain't seen my sister, have you? No. Oh, have you not? No. Well, I was looking for Oh, it's freaking rose bushes. Well. She had my dog. Oh, she's walking Princess. Princess just got out. Princess. <laughs> Yeah, there's your leash. We had a great walk. Yeah. But I thought she got cold, so we put her in a vehicle just a minute. I love your rose bushes. Oh my gosh, the dog is so cute. I you know what, Mr. Dogs. Therapist? The dog was the cutest little dog, and it was that man's baby. Yeah. And she lost it. That's why I'm here, Mr. Therapist. Misty and Christy would like to dedicate this episode in loving memory of.